There's the giant peach that's currently being redone. They've got it covered in tarps because uh, they're redoing the whole thing. The paint and stuff was wearing off of it. This is it? No, it's in my oh. But we are 85 northbound in our great trusty rusty Ford Explorer. What's up? And uh, steadily holding about 64, 65 ish miles an hour with our car trailer in tow because today we are on our way to pick up a 1990 Honda Hatchback SI that I don't know if you can see him back there. Back behind is a little, a little gold car right there behind us. That's Danny. He Danny just, boy. Danny boy. And he just bought him a, a SI Honda Hatchback. He's that gold car is a Honda hatchback, but it's not an SI. It's got the old four-speed manual. And this one's gonna have a five-speed manual. Manual. And a good interior and all kinds of good juicy parts. So we are uh, just motivating north with the car trailer. In the I don't know if you can see it in the mirror. There it is car trailer in tow, 65 miles an hour, and we're steady holding it. And Nito right here, she's a buried. She's getting awfully close to that massive H, but we give zero fucks because it's a Ford Exploder and it's just doing what it does best. But. Here we are, trucking up 85, so it's on the other side of, it's closer to the state line. And I don't even know if you can hear me, because I might just hear wind noise. But they've got people in that camper shell. <laughs> they've got people in that camper shell blowing well, the interstate. But, uh, I'm getting awful close to this Swift truck. I better back off a little bit. Gotta keep breaking distance between us. I can't see his mirrors, he can't see me. So, you can see, you smell the sulfur from that thing. Nice. But, we've probably got an hour and a half to drive to get there, and odds are it'll take us two hours to get home because I'm gonna go real slow. Because I don't like this Ford, and I don't like that trailer. And it's not carrying my car carrying someone else's car, which means you gotta be extra here. Get over, buddy. Get over, buddy. Ooh, all right. We are an hour and 14 minutes out. An hour and 14 minutes. An hour and 14 minutes. Look, there's a twin. Look at that. Hey, twin. Hi. That makes it some nice act. And Danny boy, he's getting kind of far behind us, pick up a pace. You can see my mirrors, I can see yours. We're all good, come on now. Here's another hill. Oh Lord. Oh snap. Oh God, that was a bone jar and rattle. Right, come on forward, up a hill we go. The power strokes are climbing past us. Come on forward. Come on forward. That's a super duty. That's a big shit. <laughs> I gotta let off the accelerator. We're catching up on the Swifty truck. You know, with that window being down, there's not a lot of wind noise. And I'd roll that window up to vlog, but if I do, there's a very good chance it will not go back down. We're on a new paved blacktop now. And now we're off. That was really quiet, and here we're off. Oh, shit. The little Taurus, okay, the Taurus got over. But, here, 
here, Jesse. You want to be a cameraman? Sure. You put that on your wrist and you don't drop it down. All right. I can't afford to purchase another camera. So, what we are. Can you even see me? Yeah. Oh, okay. There's a yellow truck. We are five miles out of Blacksburg. Into Blacksburg. That's how much longer we got to go. But, I don't know what to say here. But look at all these nice cars passing us. And then there's a Venture. Oh shit. Look like at all these nice cars, and there's a Venture. Look, the Ford's doing the best it can, okay? Don't be, don't be a judgmental bastard. Dodge. Like I said, I rolled this window up, but odds are it ain't gonna go back down worth the shit. So I'm kind of afraid to roll it up. And then if I roll it up to talk to y'all, when I cut the camera off, I'll get hot. And I don't think the air conditioner works with the crap. Nope. So, look at that hubcap shaking on that something. Oh, snap. What's passing the now? A Tundra. Now what? <laughs> I think it's a Volkswagen. Volkswagen! And we got a dog. We got old Danny boy back there. You can see him in the Sipping gas and slow as an ass. We ain't sipping gas up here. Heck no. The needle ain't moved yet, but the temperature gauge has. Come on, dirty Ford. Oh, but we we're, we're gonna go pick up a Civic, and then I'll get some uh, videos of it. We'll, I'll stop somewhere. I don't want to videotape at the guy's house, that's kind of not a lot. But we'll get it loaded up on the trailer and I'll stop at a maintenance store or something and get some footage of it and see how can see it. It probably won't end up in any more of my videos, this will probably be the only one more likely. But I don't know, maybe we'll get something else of it. We got 2.4 miles to our exit of Blacksburg. Then we hit Highway 198. Exit 100. Oh snap. An idiot would mistake that for a speed limit and question why he got a ticket. We got an adult store over yonder. I don't know if you can see that. I think there's a lot of naked women in some pictures there. Uh, there's the mountains of Blacksburg. It's saying close to 70, and man, it feels great. We can wear t-shirts today and not die. So, we gotta get off exit 102. All right, well, we're gonna cut this here camera and uh, get off on our exit and frigigulate where we're supposed to be so Jesse can press the red button on the top. It might be on the side. We need to find one closer. Yeah. But the five speed's the way to go, man. Especially for a tow rig. Because we are trucking down the interstate. We have picked up the new Honda hatchback. And uh, ironically enough, what, what we thought was an old SI hatchback ended up being a buddy of ours, Grayson, his old car. Like, just the irony is incredible. Uh, it wasn't two months ago that thing was at car shows with us. Oh, lens is dirty. Oh crap, hold on. Camera's trying to focus too close because all the crap on the lens. Let's try it now. Come on, camera. There we go. Alright, now she's Gucci. Anyway, we are, uh, southbound now on 85 i didn't get to stop 
and you can get a video of the car to put on the trailer. And I doubt you can see it now because it's probably too dark. You can kind of see it. Red hood. The car was nicknamed Skittles. Very appropriately fitting. Once you see the rest of it, you'll understand why. But uh, believe it or not, our tow rig, this old uh, Eddie Bauer Ford Exploder, broke down. Get it. Right after I stopped the camera, we got off the interstate and we found our exit. We went, went probably another four or five miles, and we we stopped at a uh, place to use the bathroom. And uh, I cut the truck off, came back out, fired it up, got on the road, and next thing I know, it uh, it just wouldn't go. You'd put it into gear and hit the gas. The transmission was working. It would creep forward, but it had no power. I mean, you could, I had it just about all the way to the floor just trying to get it to move at all. And I, I, it only went about four or five miles. About four miles was all it could do, and then it was literally just about to cut off on us. So we pulled over at a, uh, at a buy low, shut it off, let it cool down got it started again and revved the hell out of it and it cleared it out got back on the road now here we are now in case you can't see that temperature gauge it's on up there I mean it's she's close to boiling but she's not she's hanging in there the trailer lights aren't wired up right so they're not working so I've been trying to avoid cutting the lights on but it's getting so dark I'm gonna have to BMW but the wind today we picked a bad day to tow the wind has been ridiculous all day and it's even worse out here on the interstate and this thing is just rocking uh, it's not my driving I promise it's all I can do the steering has so much wobble in it play and these big tires like to buckle I'm trying my best but it, it keeps swerving I'll hit a good gust of wind it'll push me right on the the dotted white line and we've got to fight it to get it back over but we we're close now it took us a lot longer to get there than we expected because hold on oh it just down geared because we were using the old school gps one of the old tom toms and it's not up to date so half the roads we were driving on it didn't even recognize them They didn't even recognize that they existed. Uh, so, uh, it, it led us in legitimately a huge circle and was trying to get us to turn way out of the way, but luckily, uh, on my cell phone down here, I, uh, I was able to GPS it. And uh, I, I wasn't going to use my phone at first just because I didn't want to. I figured the regular GPS would be fine, but no, it screwed us all up, so we're on our way. But yeah, this old Ford Explorer, man, she's taking a beat, and this automatic's been crying the whole way, and fuel pump's just whining now. It's dickered. It's dickered, Jesse. Dickering. It's dickered. Not dickering, dickered. It's dickered. Looks fucked to me. It's fucked. Ricky. It's fucked, Ricky! Shut up, bubbles. That's an inside joke. You'll know it, some of you. But, yeah. Haven't seen a Mr. Leahy for a few miles. We're clear of the bears. It's getting dark out now. The sun's setting real pretty up here on the interstate. We probably don't have enough 10 miles, 10, 15 miles to go. We'll be back at the end. Mr. Leahy! Mr. Leahy! Mr. Leahy! Shut up, bubbles. Uh -huh. Well, you're drunk, Mr. Lee. But my shit and breakfast. <laughs> oh my god. Got these shit puppets following us. Fucking shit puppets. Yep. Danny boy. Danny boy. Danny boy and shit puppet brand. Danny boy. Danny boy. Danny boy. They're Danny. back behind us. They're behind the E after we're towing. They're slow. But they're doing the best they can. There's a 25 year old Honda. Four speed, no exhaust. That means no horsepower. 
So, on our way home, we were discussing, uh, we were just discussing how sad this old Explorer is. So Jesse started looking up on his phone, uh, trucks on Craigslist, yep. trying to find him a, uh, another Ferd F-10,000. Well, not really, but it's a truck and it'll work. So, better than an exploder. Yeah, this thing scared the shit out of me. I mean, it completely lost all power. I had my foot in the mat. I was pushing that damn pedal through the firewall, and it wasn't even down gear. It just, oh. it was just chugging. It said down gear for what? Down gear for what? That's our exit. Here's our exit. Like I told you, got my blinker on. Blinker in. My blinker in. Uh, it's fucked. Danny boy gonna see it. Danny boy, get over, Danny boy. Well, we got over. Did he? All right. Oh, get out of the way, heavy Chevy. I got no trailer brakes on this thing. I'll eat you alive. Your dad's gonna be mad at Danny Boy. He's gonna be so mad at Danny Boy. Danny Boy. Danny There's ball. a freaking Corolla going through. Where? Out there. Really? Between it, it was white just like yours. I didn't even see it. Somebody done stole my Corolla. Corolla. Got my, my blinker Corolla. on again, cause we don't. If you go straight, you just end up back on the interest. Oh, and look! Keep going. Look, there's a Kojak with a Kodak. Look, got the whole road blocked off. Look at that. Look at that. Hold on. I bet you there's a wreck. Hold on. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta get you this on the visualization. Behind nobody behind anybody. See the blue lights? What you doing? What's he saying? I think Logan that fell off his car shaking. Well, we're almost to the house. We're almost to the house. Oh crap, it's the heavy Chevy. He came back for vengeance. Oh, oh no. No, I about to say, please shift. He went straight. Dude, where am I supposed to? Oh, we'll pull over at that little cricket. Because I can get in and out of there. When you got a Ford and you got a trailer with a Honda, you can't just stop anywhere. I know, but I'm trying to keep the temperature up so it don't boil. Okay, we'll cut it to low. I'm on fire too, but I'm trying to keep the truck from setting on fire. Do you see the needle? Do you see the needle? Just coming in with Um, you 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 good to roll? You good to roll? Uh, I know, right, but you know it's Danny, so we gotta check on him. It could be a knot on that dirt tar, but you never know. We just gonna have to take a look at it and make sure it's still. Oh shit! 